Hi, my pickles, my snowflakes, and my turtles. Welcome to another video of Sarah doing her keto, her style, and hoping to motivate you guys to find your style and have great success. Well, somebody was just asking me, why do I do OMAD? Well, OMAD is one meal a day. And um, after starting it about, I don't know, six, seven weeks ago, at first I, I did it a couple of days and it was like, oh man, at noon I just wanted that first meal. I didn't think I could wait until like three or four for my first meal. And, um, and of course, because it's new. And of course, what do we do when we're trying something new, be it keto or giving up diet soda or quitting smoking or any of the things that we do that ultimately is good for our health. We resist, <laughs> it's human nature. And so I, I just didn't think I could do it. So I did it like two days that week and um, thought, well, this this will work. I'll do it two days a week. And, and, you know, so I'll be hangry or struggling with the one meal a day, the other days of the week. And then, I don't know, it was like that. All of a sudden, I'm doing OMAD and wanting to do it. And that's the difference, wanting to do something. And I loved the way it felt. The reason I do OMAD, I have two fatty coffees during my non-eating part of like 23 hours. And um, it works for me. I think, I, I think older women like fat. Uh, their body needs fat. The brain likes fat. And so I do fat. <laughs> And I do have, so I have a fatty fast. And um, as it were, no, I'm not a purist. I'm not one of those. I can drink water for 23 hours and eat my OMED. And one of the reasons is because those two bulletproof coffees take up 500 calories. And so when I have 1400 calories a day, that gives me a 900 calorie dinner. And that is a wonderfully substantial meal for me. And so that one meal, I'm eating between three and four in the afternoon, and then it carries me all the way the next day. And I'm, I'm not having hunger. I'm not having cravings. Um, you know, I look forward to my next meal, but I've got my two fatty coffees to carry me, and they do carry me. They do. The first one is like at three o'clock in the morning when I get up, and um, so I can do things like this and shower and go to my meeting and all that kind of stuff, prepare things. And um, and then the next one will be between nine and 10. And I'm able to go to the rec and do my fast walk for 45 to uh, 60 minutes each day, except yesterday I stayed home and did resistance band because we had a blizzard. And so it just, it just makes for something that works. And I look forward, I look, I look forward to the meal but I'm not like, I'm going to kill somebody if I don't eat soon. And my stomach is not growling for the meal. It's, it's a pretty remarkable, spectacular thing. It's like, this is my day, mood-wise, tummy-wise, hungry-wise. That's it. It just works. Now, that's my recipe. Um, each person that does keto needs to find what works for them. Sometimes people can't do that one meal a day. I thought I was one of them. My hand was up. I was a solid two meal a day person, one at noon and one between three and four. And so now I'm just having that one between three and four with my two bulletproof coffees and it carries me. And has my grocery bill diminished? You bet. Um, a pound of pasture raised butter and a, and a pint of heavy whipping cream cost a whole lot less than having, you know, two meals every day. And so I have the best of the best for now. It's been a good run. If I can't have the best of the best, I'll do the best I can with my choices. And so, um, yes, I'm not a purist or no, I'm not a purist. <laughs> and so there are some things that I have that, you know, uh, are not organic, are not grass fed. Um, usually the steaks I find for dinner on the steak, the big green egg night, um, you know, they're not necessarily, they're feedlot sometimes because um, I can't find what I'm looking for in the grass-fed aisles um, of the meat departments, and I go to quite a few. 
but I do refuse to pay $30, $35 at, um, at Whole Foods. I just do. My seating is off. So that that's what somebody was asking me what I do. And um, as far as uh, food plans for the day, well, um, today I've already put in my food, which is good. Um, I like that. And I know what I'm having. I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought pork chops, pork chops yesterday. So I'm having two, excuse me, one pork chop cooked in coconut oil. And I wait till it's kind of brown on the inside and on the outside. And then I put it in a low and slow oven. Mm -hmm. And I'm having six fat asparagus spears sprayed with coconut oil cooked in the toaster oven for three minutes. So they're very, very crispy. I like those. Um, or, you know, partially cooked. I like that. Um, somebody was asking me about my salads. I weigh out my salads, so I have grams of lettuce, not grams of carbs. There's a difference. And so I do 75 grams of organic romaine, 40 grams of watercress, and 30 grams of spinach. And so that ends up between 125 and 150 grams of lettuces each day. I add one ounce of the 365 Whole Foods feta cheese and to that crumbled and I crumble it myself. I don't buy crumbled or shredded cheeses because of the um, extra chemically things they do to process the crumbles or the shredding. I do it myself and it does not take a long time to shred things. Like so when I have my fathead pizza, I'm shredding my cheese myself, all by myself. I usually get the Cabot pepper jack cheese, eight ounces of that. And so, uh, although um, I might do half and half, half Roth Havarti, Awardi, I don't know if you pronounce the V or not, cheese and pepper jack because the um, Havarti, Havarti is just a wonderfully mellow cheese to, um, to the mix I found when I've had it. But where was I? So my salad. So I have a big, a bigger and a biggest salad bowl and um, depending on, the biggest is the fluted crystal one that looks like it should be on a coffee table of a staged house for sale. Um, and what I put in that are things like hard boiled eggs and three ounces of like ham, some bacon, the crumbled cheese. So I add all kinds of things to it. So it's that one meal um, size and it's big, it's big. Um, the next size is a little bit smaller and that's my big S, bigger salad, not the biggest. And then I have a big salad, which is a white bowl that I got at Home Goods, And that's what I'm having today with my three types of lettuce, my one ounce of, of feta, my two tablespoons of oil, one Evu, organic Evu, the other one, macadamia nut oil, and then seven grams of sauteed in butter pecans on top. And it's divine. So that's my dinner, the asparagus, the pork chop, and the big salad. And um, I dine. I don't just... <laughs> I have... Um, so today I will probably have a, a bread and butter plate with the pork chop and the asparagus, because as I've said before, I like an abundant plate. So I don't care how small it is, as long as it looks like it's overflowing with abundance. Weird, but it works with my head. It's something I took from Overeaters Anonymous oh so many years ago. And so I will have that with the salad on the side. And that's my fun for the day. Now, um, in, my, in my chronometer for the day, um, it's a wonderful system. As you can see, it shows what I've eaten. And right here, it shows what I've burned. And when you go into um, the settings on the chronometer, you can go in and, and figure out your weight, height, BMI. Um, are you sedentary, moderately active, active, whatever. You can also set what type of keto you're doing. I put rigid, which means under 20 carbs. So um, it's not like it alerts and sends out emails to the entire world that I'm like over 20, but um, it just it just keeps me at the under 20 level for my carbohydrates not my carbs in grams for what I'm weighing for things like salads and and nuts and butters and oils and all that kind of stuff because I weigh and measure everything. That's just me. 
if you don't need to do those things, if you're so good at eyeballing and get away, not get away with it, but it works for you, then continue doing it. So anyway, my, um, my targets for the day, my macros for the day, uh, 1,407 calories. My protein is 49.6. It says I'm supposed to have 37 grams. I usually always have, but I love under 50, under 50 grams of protein. So I'm right there at 49.6 and my carbs are 9.9. And I absolutely love that ratio. And my fat is 120. So I am on target. I just put in what I'm going to eat. I don't sit there and say, what can I have with my chronometer? I put in what I want to eat and then see how it goes. So the 9.9 carbs really works for me and my old metabolism um, and my OMAD. Um, keeping my fats high is my concern. I think old ladies like the fat, like I said. I know my brain likes the fat. And um, so that's how I'm rolling with it. And um, my weight this week is 121.4. Tomorrow is my weigh-in. It's Thursday weigh-in morning. So we will see what that what the week brings. And I post it not for, look what I weigh. I post it to show what maintenance looks like. And that's why I talk about what I do today. Because maintenance is as tricky as losing. Um, because there are, you know, it's not like you can reward yourself with something carby and treaty and foody and off keto. Um, some do, and they come back and say the consequences of their um, gastrointestinal uh, consequences, but I'm not like that. And Keto in the Chaos was um, talking about me on a live uh, video the other day, and she was saying that I'm strict. I don't play, I don't cheat, I don't ketofy. And um, some might say I'm rigid and structured, and I am because it keeps my disease, Ms. Slick, my food addict, under control. And um, I need to control her. I don't need to control anybody else's life, but I know that if she permeates, what is it they say, that brain, um, whatever that little um, level is where things get past a certain thing and can get in um, with the receptors, um, you know, I'm doomed because she. there is nothing nothing healthy or um, staying the same or about my maintenance that she wants. No, no. She wants me in deep, deep trouble. She wants me trading in fathead pizzas for the real deal at a pizzeria. Um, she wants me eating three meals a day. She wants me not going to the gym. Not that it matters. The gym is for my head. Um, the walking is just to move my body. It's not about losing weight. It's just about being 67 and not wanting to be, oh, I got enough, I got enough about aging that I have no control over. So I try to contribute by um, walking and the resistance band that I do. So it's time for me to go pick up my elderly lady, get to my 12 step meeting, have my Mountain Valley salted um, and potassium and magnesium mineral water love it love it and get on with the day so thanks so much for watching this has been sarah pearls of wisdom and food with just another cup of coffee kind of chat you know i picture you guys answering me back and you do in the comments and i so appreciate it thank you so much for watching i will see you the next time please subscribe and please comment i love my keto community thanks bye-bye for now